Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Dan. <clears throat> I haven't done a video in a while and I really don't even know why. Um, now, I really, I really don't know why. I've just been playing my guitar. I haven't really been working on anything. Haven't had anything new to show off. I did go buy some wood so I can start on that. Got that Fender Super Champ X2 that I want to build a cabinet for to put a 12 inch speaker in. I finally ordered the speaker, so it's in. Um, now I've just got to get started on the on the cabinet cuts and I'll, I may do that, may do that Sunday. If not, it'll be next weekend. Um, in the meantime, got a guitar to open up. This guy needs it set up, um, maybe. We, we really don't know because it's never been opened. Um, it is a very cheap guitar from Amazon. Uh, West Creek, I think. Let's see. Yeah, West Creek, solid body. Um, let's get it open, let's see what we got here. If I remember correctly, it's kind of a double cut, single pickup, Les Paul Jr. style. I like, <laughs> you know, the foam is kind of wasteful and not great for the environment, but it's really a good way to ship a guitar. These are pretty nice cut out pieces here. What do we got there? Throw away throwaway cable. You just kind of assume uh, when these cheap guitars come out that the strings are probably going to be crap. Um, and then they're probably not going to be set up to an individual player's preference. Even if they're acceptable, they're not going to be to the player's preference. That's that's pretty cool looking. That's a it's a nice shade of blue. You can see that color there. We got a little bit of sunlight coming in here still, so Hopefully we've got some decent, decent views. It's a set neck, piece of styrofoam on there. Nice finish, I'm sure it's a nice hard poly finish. Um, man, after <laughs> I've got my telly over here that I had sprayed with lacquer and it, it, it already needs to be painted again because Pretty cheap tuners. Um, I think I think he said this guitar was around $170. So you know these tuners are going to be crap. Looks like the truss rod adjustment up here at the neck. Um, West Creek guitars, nice, nice logo. Um, nice little inlay on the headstock. I, I actually kind of dig this little cut right here. Um, I don't see any indication of where this was made. I'm 99% I'm sure it's China, but they don't have any made in anywhere on it. Um, pretty rough, rough feeling pots right there. Um, almost kind of a telly style plate which is kind of cool. It's got a wrap bridge with individually adjustable saddles. Um, oh yeah, and it's full wrap too. They go that way and wrap around. Um, single P90 in the neck. So obviously no need for a switch anywhere that 
fretboard looks pretty dry, but man, whatever whatever factory they're doing some of these guitars in, they have got the the fretwork down. There's there is no chance for any sprout there. Those are all rounded and very nice. Um, let's check the relief on the neck. Yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit of relief there. Um, yeah, we'll need to do a we'll need to do a truss rod adjustment. Um, to be my preference anyway pretty pretty good neck angle there um pretty good height on the pickup let's see <clears throat> how in or out of tune it is c <laughs> about two steps two steps detuned and I would imagine that these strings are not stretched either No, not at all. Go ahead and get some stretch done. Kind of boring, kind of boring watching somebody tune a guitar. Yeah, I think, man, these strings just do not, do not feel right to me. I don't know what that's about, but they don't feel right. Anyway, um... I'm guessing those are probably 10, 10 to 46. Um, I've got some 10 to 46, but I honestly prefer the 9 to 42 Diodario. A little something interesting going on, on the fretboard there. I can't tell what that is. Maybe discolored or some type of buffing compound on there. No binding anywhere, which is fine, you know. Keeps costs down. It's one less thing to worry about quality control on. Um, let's plug it in and see. Should have turned my amp off. The little, the little Blues Junior over here. Um, it's up a little loud, so I won't... Try about half volume here. Uh, turn that down. 
no fret, no high frets that I can see there. Action's a little high. Um, it's pretty easily fixable. We might find some high frets if I get the action down where it needs to be. The nut slot is also um, cut pretty high. Um, you can see there's it's a lot of push down. Probably pull things sharp, especially up here close to the nut. So it's got some work to be done, but man, it's kind of a cool guitar. Um, I, I might I might want to get one of these myself. Um, I can't I can't justify the cost for a Gibson double cut single pickup like this, but for under two hundred bucks, I could I could justify something like this. Um, we'll get the. I also really can't figure out what's going on with that. I may need to get my magnifying glass out and look and see if that's just a imperfection in the wood or what um it's a pretty guitar listen i, I also i don't have a lot of i don't have a lot of hum noise in here right now i've been Researching a little bit, I was hearing about grounding, the, the process of grounding. I'm a, I'm a mental health counselor in my day job. Um, and we talk a lot about people grounding themselves. And a lot of times we're talking about emotional grounding, um, psychological grounding. But there's actually some research on physical grounding of our body. Um, some real benefits, I think, to being out in nature, uh, barefoot, making contact with the earth. And it seemed like pseudoscience when I first heard about it. So I actually started doing some research and found some peer reviewed studies that show um, even like 30 minutes of, of grounding our body can reduce inflammation, it can help reset our autonomic nervous system into more of a rest and repair state, um, improve sleep, uh, improve like healing of injuries and wounds, quite a few, quite a few measurable benefits from the process of grounding. And that got me to thinking about how, you know, I'm getting old, so I've got some aches and pains. The mornings when I wake up and play my guitar first thing, I seem to have a better day and I don't know if it's got anything to do with the grounding or maybe just because I'm taking some time to, to play my guitar. But I know that when, when we touch the metal on a guitar, our body is capturing a lot of electromagnetic interference from the environment and I can hear it right there. I don't know if you can hear it or, or not on the camera mic, but all of the hum that's in the environment comes through your body and goes to ground. And on a traditional amp like this, it's actually going to ground. It's a three prong plug. It's going to ground in the amp. The ground in the amp is going to ground in the circuit. The ground in the circuit's going to the copper rod that's buried next to the building. So touching the strings on your guitar is grounding your body and it helps dissipate some of the electromagnetic energy that we're absorbing throughout the day. If you've ever played if you ever played your guitar and left your cell phone too close to your amp, you know what that electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference sounds like when it comes through your amp. Well, we're exposed to that pretty much all the time in the modern world. So, I think there may be some real health benefits to playing guitar. So if somebody says you're playing guitar too much, tell them you're, you're just taking care of your, your physical health because there are definitive benefits to, to grounding ourselves. Um, I haven't found a good explanation of why that does what it does. Um, some people were saying it's allowing uh, specifically charged electrons to pass from the earth into our body. 
Um, other people says it allows us to dissipate some of the some of the energy that our body absorbs. Either way, there seems to be a measurable improvement. So play play your guitar. Play your guitar for your physical health. Hope everybody's having a good week, a uh, good June so far. It got pretty hot and humid here today. I'll get this thing set up, get some new strings on it, play around with it for a little bit, and maybe give a, a final verdict on it. But overall, I like it. It's light, too. It's really light. I need to get it on a scale. Probably, probably six and a half pounds, maybe close to seven, but if it's seven, it's pushing it. You guys take care. Um, talk to you soon.